Hey, I'm Jeff with WYSIWYGCOM USA. Today we're going to talk a little bit more about the MTB40. We're going to dive into the menus and some of the features and options that this unit offers and kind of how to change and edit those settings and what they are. We can start by powering on the unit by pressing and holding on. It'll power up and show off some info and then go right into our overview screen, which shows off our channel group, frequency, audio level, high pass filter, battery level, and our RF power. You can go ahead and press down and we're gonna go into our preset menu. There's a pre factory preset as well as a user selectable preset. Uh, you can edit this in the WYSICOM manager and edit some of these settings that we're about to go through and save them to your user preset. Next, we're gonna go into the tuning menu. This offers our channel, group, and frequency. In all of the WYSICOM devices, there are 40 groups of 60 user selectable frequency presets. This is great for if you're filming in multiple locations and you wanna save some frequencies you've coordinated each place you go to save yourself a little time the next time you go there. You can manually select and change by pressing on and changing it and then pressing on again to save. If we go down again, this will bring us into our audio menu. By here, you can change your audio level in one decibel increments by pressing on and going up or down and then pressing on again to save. As we go down again, this brings us into phase and high pass filter. This unit can offer a flat high pass all the way up to a 400 hertz high pass filter. As we continue to go through, we get into our noise reduction. Now here, we've talked about this a little before in different videos. The WYSICOM offers two noise reduction schemes, also known as companders. One of them is ENR WYSI, which is a very voice optimized companding scheme. The other is ENC, which is a very full audio spectrum optimized compander. You can select this by pressing on, choosing the one you would like, and pressing on again. This also is where you can turn on and off your limiter. The next menu is our RF power menu. From here you can press on to select, depending on the option of unit you have, either 10 or 20, or 50 or 100 milliwatts. As well as you can select the battery type you have in to correctly display the telemetry on your receiver and on your transmitter. The MTB works with alkaline, lithium, or nickel metal hydride. This next menu offers an option of auto locking the transmitter when it's not in use for a few moments with the buttons. Our next menu is about the LED and what causes the LED to flash. You can set it to either status or modulation peak or a couple other options. Finally, we get to our mic setting where you can toggle phantom on and off as well as transmitting the tone squelch data which enables the telemetry to be visible on your receiver. Finally, we get to the name of the unit which by default has just got its frequency as well as the info showing our firmware, our serial number, and then we're back to the IR menu. To use the IR functions, the IR receiver and transmitter is on the side of the unit. Next, we get to where we can lock the unit by pressing and holding on. And this will make it so none of the buttons have any effect without unlocking the unit. So finally, let's talk about attaching a mic to your MTB40. Here I have a Sankin shotgun mic, and we're just gonna start with lining up the XLR connector and push it in. You're not gonna hear a click as you would with a traditional XLR cable. What you're gonna do is push it on and then you're just gonna finger tight, screw down the connector. Eventually you'll feel it go very tight on the connector. You don't wanna over screw this as you could cause damage to the XLR on the MTB40. But once it's secure, you can give it a light tug and it should hold steady. From here, you can attach this right onto the end of a boom pole or if you're using a handheld mic, it'll securely hold at the bottom. So I hope that answers some questions about the MTB40. If you have any questions or want us to discuss anything in future videos, let us know. Support at wizicomusa.com.